on Monday, August 10th at Bowditch Field in Framingham. Hopkinton met up with Framingham in Game 2 of the Best of 3 series. A shorthanded Hillers team fell in Game 1 on Saturday, August 8th, 5-3. A number of players had AAU commitments that day. Top of the first, the Hillers bats get going. And at third base, J.J. Blanchard wind up in the pitch. And this is up the middle left side, gloved by the shortstop, and he drops it. Tough play to make. I'm giving him a single for that one. Sheamus is aboard with one out. Two on, two outs. And he'll put this one up the middle, and it's bobbled by the third baseman. Everyone's safe. Line up and the pitch. And he'll tattoo this ball off the glove of the second baseman. One run is in. Here comes another run to score. And it's two to nothing, Hillers. A two RBI single for Dylan Locke. Nearly a nice play by the second baseman, but it just went right off his glove. Two to nothing, Hillers heading to the top of the fourth. And Hopkinton adds another. He deals, and that hit him. Andrew Gunn taking one for the team. That'll bring up Chase Doherty, the second baseman. Line up and the pitch, and it'll get a piece of this one, and it's bobbled by the third baseman. The throw over, not in time. And it's going to sail all the way to the fence on the first base side, and Andrew Gunn's going to advance a third. And now Chase Doherty off to second. To deliver. Down low, and that's going to get away from the catcher. Here comes the runner from third, and he will get in there and score a run as the ball gets away. Andrew Gunn coming around on the wild pitch. Three to nothing into the top of the fifth. Could the Hillers add more security? Bases are loaded for the Hillers. One out. Down low, gets away from the catcher. Here comes the runner from third. No one there to cover. He will score. Well, the pitcher got in there a little late. There was a little hesitation by Thurber to cover home plate, and that allows Connor Kelly to come around and score. Line up and the pitch. Up high. And there's another walk and a run for the Hillers. Parker Hook around to score. Breslin to third, Locke to second, Cooper to first, and we've gone to the plate. Line up and the pitch. Down low, he'll draw the walk, and a run will score. John wasn't aware that he drew the walk there. He was telling Breslin, come on. Three more runs, score in the inning, and how about another in the top of the sixth? And the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right center. That'll get down for a hit. Tommy Ambersoni heading to third. And it'll be runners on the corners with no outs for the Hillers. Line up and the pitch. Runner taking off from first as this is hit in the air to center field. It is caught. Runner will have to tag back at first. Runner from third is going to tag and score. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Connor Kelly. Amber Sony scores to make it a 7 0 game as rain starting to fall a little bit harder now here at Bowditch Field. Line up and the pitch. This is hit in the air over to center field. It's caught, and the Hopkinton Hillers complete the 7 1 victory. An impressive performance by the Hillers out there tonight as they are able to tie the series at one game apiece and they will play on tomorrow night at the Hopkinton High School turf fields, a 6.30 first pitch. And that one and the winner of tomorrow night's game will advance to the championship series against Marlboro.